In this example, we're going to calculate the principal effective stresses at a point, point A, when given a profile with a flat ground surface. The profile is this. There's a well-graded gravel, that's the first layer. Below that, there's a poorly graded sand. And then below that, there's a low plasticity clay, and all of which lies on top of the bedrock. The gravel layer is three meters thick, the sand is six meters thick, and the clay is three meters thick. The water table is two meters under the interface between the gravel and the sand, which means that it's five meters underground, okay? The unit weights are given 18 and 21 kilonewton per meter cubed for the gravel layer, 18 when dry, 21 when saturated. For the sand, 19 when dry and 20 when saturated. For the clay, 19 when dry and 21 when saturated. The lateral stress ratios are given 0.7 for gravel, 0.6 for the sand, point, sorry, 0.5 for the sand, and 0.6 for the clay. The unit weight of water is 9.81 kilonewtons per meter cubed. But we are going to assume that it's 10, just for ease of calculations. Notice that point A is a distance, some distance below the water table. What is that distance? Well, if the entire layer is 6 meters thick, and the point is 2 meters from this layer interface, and the water table is 2 meters below this layer interface, then we know that this must be 2 meters as well, because 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. So let's begin with the vertical effective stress at point A. To find this value, what we do is we add all the components above the point, starting from the top. So we have 3 meters of dry gravel, 18, plus 2 meters of dry sand, 19, plus 2 meters of saturated sand, 20, and that's it, right? So this right here is the total vertical stress at point A. Now we have to subtract the pore pressure. The pore pressure is the pressure head, which is two meters, which is the distance from the point to the water table, times the unit weight of water, which we said we we're gonna use 10, so that's two times 10. This right here is the hydrostatic pore pressure at point A. And so this is 132 minus 20, which is 112 kPa. That is the vertical effective stress at point A. The horizontal effective stress at point A is simply the lateral stress ratio times the vertical effective stress at point A. The lateral stress ratio at point A is that of the sand, because point A is in the sand. So 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and the vertical effective stress we just calculated and so this is 56 kPa. Okay. While we are at it, we can also find the horizontal total stress at point A. And that is simply the horizontal effective stress at point A plus the hydrostatic pore pressure at point A, which is 56 plus 20 from here right? 2 times 10, which is 76 kPa. Just to finalize here, remember that the lateral stress ratio is the horizontal effective stress over the vertical effective stress. It is not the horizontal total stress over the vertical total stress. So remember that always.